that's where it is for years. Well, I appreciate your prayers, but uh, all I'm doing is the best I can. And clearly, Mr. Bundy and his family and everybody are very good people. You can just see that. And it really upsets the system. And if they do decide to kill him or, or start the Civil War, uh, it's the wrong poster child for the globalist. I mean, this is really not what they want. But if they don't crush him or demonize him, other people are going to stand up. And so they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. What does your gut tell you? Or you'd say as a Christian, your spirit, what does your gut tell you is going to happen at the end of the day here? I, I don't think we can tell because we have to make the decision on, on, what, on, on what we're going to do. I think that governs the future. Before you drop my call, I'd like to tell you, we carry your program three times in 24 hours here to educate the public on Truth Radio. We, we do that because we believe in what you're doing, Alex, and other uh, talk show hosts. And my gut feeling is, before it's over, the feds are going to do exactly what they did in Montana, Ruby Ridge, Waco, and the church in Idaho. No matter what it takes, they're out to win because they're desperate, they're sorely afraid of a well-armed militia under constitutional rights. Thank you. Very well said, sir. You're absolutely right. New article by Steve Watson just went up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Princeton researchers conclude U.S. political system has been almost completely usurped. They go on to say the U.S. is basically a police state run by special interest. Very important article by a prestigious university. And then meanwhile, we played this last hour. I'm not going to play it again because of time constraints. I want to go to calls where he says, hey, we got to keep you safe, so we're going to grope you. And the NSA is going to spy on you without warrants. You can't say it's unconstitutional. They're giving modern Stinger missiles to Al-Qaeda, real Al-Qaeda. Who even the European uh, Interpol says that they think is going to start shooting airplanes down with it. And when they start shooting down airplanes in the U.S. and in Europe with these, I'm going to come on air and say, hey, we gave it to them, and I will be called a traitor by MSNBC. You watch when it happens. I think it's going to happen. They will say, Alex Jones says the government did it. He isn't sad that 227 people died when this such-and-such such 747 got shot down flying out of Dallas or flying out of New York. It won't be that Alex predicted this and Alex was right and we shouldn't have given missiles to Al-Qaeda. It'll be, how dare him not care about the dead women and children. Let's go to the father whose 12-year-old son was on the plane. What do you think of Alex Jones not caring about your dead son, Billy? Well, I hate Alex Jones. I mean, these people make me sick. And they've done this before when we expose their false flags. Alex Jones doesn't care about the people that died. He thinks the firemen blew up the World Trade Center because he says the government was involved in it. I said criminal elements were involved, ordering a stand down. And, and, and then we have police say, get back. They're going to blow up Building 7 on CNN. And then I interviewed the d deputy head of emergency management. And two weeks later, he was dead. The family wouldn't talk to us. They moved out suddenly. We talked to the neighbors. I believe he didn't die. I was put in a witness protection program. Because when Barry Jennings came on this show, the video's online. When he came on the show and said, no, they said they were going to blow up Building 7. He was the number two in New York City in the building. And boy, when he did that, they didn't know what to do. So he was dead two weeks later. Maybe they killed him. I don't know. We, we went to their house, gone. Neighbors said, man, they had a moving truck out of here. They were gone. I don't know, folks. I'm in over my head. So is the whole world. And I'll tell the establishment something, too. You are in over your head as well. You are in over your head. Man can't run this system. The globalists aren't going to get away. I mean, do you guys really think you're going to win a civil war? You know what? Harry Reid doesn't care if a bunch of cops and military get killed in a civil war. I do. I'm sick of them winning. I'm sick of knowing their trick and watching them play us off against each other. I, I, I literally have nightmares about this. You've heard me talk about this on and on. Even if you're able to beat the American people and bring in the system, I guarantee you a lot of feds are going to die. I know they got you all geared up and paramilitary and you're ready for a fight and, and you think it's manly and all this. Those are manly instincts misplaced. You should have the cultural and spiritual 
honor to realize you work for a foreign banking cartel that hijacked the country. That's what Princeton says. Woman plans abortion for chance to win TV role. Misplaced priorities are commonplace in ancient civilizations before they collapsed. I want to get into that. U.S. intelligence chief bars unauthorized contacts with reporters on all intel-related matters. So the system circling the wagons uh, to keep the press from learning of their criminal activities. What I just mentioned, Princeton researchers conclude U.S. political system has been almost completely usurped. That's all up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. But I've got more than that coming up after we take more of your calls. Uh, let's talk to Darren in Florida. Thanks for holding her on the air, Darren. Hey, Alex. Uh, first off, you know, uh, I just can't tell you how important enough it is over here. We don't get your um, station on radio anywhere. So uh, I go on YouTube to watch the uh, previous day's broadcast, and I can't tell you how important it is to us over here to have that. We would never have known about the missiles being taken from Dias and brought over to South Carolina. We would never have known the truth about this Bundy thing if it wasn't for you and David Knight being brave, Kit Daniels doing that great research and timely research. So, uh, you know, I know you get tired of hearing it, but it's really important. Well, no, but I mean, I, it is a team effort, and then it was Drudge. We broke it nationally off local news. Then Drudge picked it up. So then Fox picked it up. Then MSNBC and CNN picked it up to attack it. And then it became an international, you know, top story. In fact, for that weekend, it was the number one story, according to all the sites that track internet traffic it was the number one story in the world and now it's spurring land rights moves in the west now it's spurring a larger discussion about the feds pointing guns at people and police dogs and snipers and it's time for the people to push back we've been groveling and going along with them and it hasn't worked i don't want violence but at the same time are we supposed to just just literally slit our throats for the feds what are we supposed to do Oh, no, absolutely not. No, we, we the people have a duty to become active, become active patriots, which I've done. I'm a retired firefighter. I've always been a type A hands-on guy, and I've done it. And my line in the stand was crossed about a couple of years ago from a series of events, some personal and some collective. But talking about Bundy real quick, you brought it up today. You mentioned it to, uh, with Mr. Bundy on the line. Yeah, that Wayne Hage incident happened 10 years ago up in Nye County, Nevada. And, yes, he did win. Actually, the son... The son ended up living through it. The, the man died. His first wife died. And then um, the rancher, Hage, married a, a, a former congresswoman from Idaho, I believe. And she mysteriously died in a car accident all, all, all the time that this was going on. And they... Uh, well, by the way, I mean, they've stolen half the land in the country or more. It's worth hundreds of trillions. It is signed in the executive orders on to, as collateral. So, absolutely. I mean, they're there to protect what they've stolen. They're like bank robbers sitting on a pile of gold. And that's why they go after anybody that doesn't let them rape them. And look, the federal judge found last year in Nevada, the same BLM is in a, quote, criminal conspiracy to bankrupt every rancher. It came out in the documents. Last Thursday, I had um, the editor of the New American on, and he was quoting the ruling where they said in the documents, we want to bankrupt people. They're with a bunch of paramilitary driving around, beating people up, shaking people down, bugging their eyes out. It's a foreign army, period. This is not the law. This is a group of mercenaries. Right. That Hage son has continued to fight, and he prevailed. He won $4 million against the government, which they've yet to pay. Just like me in Florida, they took my orange trees down south. And we won, and they failed to pay me, which I got a notice in the mail years ago that well, we're going to pay you. Never saw a penny of it. Same thing with the son. But Tony DeMio, he was the sheriff in Nye County, and he's on. he's got a YouTube interv uh, interview. He's a constitutional sheriff. I'm wondering if it's possible if you're, you guys could contact uh, Sheriff DeMio, Tony DeMio, or Wayne Hayes Jr. I, well, it might not be Wayne Hayes Jr., it's the son. Um, because he did prevail, and one of the things the BLM, they found out in, in that, uh, that uh, case that you're talking about where he prevailed, one of the things the BLM did was they said that his fences weren't in order, and they wrote him up for it and fined him. And he, he, he researched it. One of the staples was missing on one of the fence posts, and I did so. I worked for a rancher down in South Florida. I mean, my God, you got fences. You know, one of your staples is going to pop out. Just, They've just, written just, the, their own bureaucratic code where it's impossible. They ran 52 families out. There was one guy left.
and they couldn't run him out. And, and ladies and gentlemen, beef prices are the highest they've ever been. Ranchers are shutting down everywhere. You're going to pay for the shutdown of America. You're going to pay for the deadbeat Bundy who works his butt off. But it doesn't matter. The media calls him a deadbeat. He should just go have anchor babies in Las Vegas. He'd be fine. We're on the march. The Empire's More calls coming up. on the run.